Now, this looks like a lymph node, kind of, right? You can see germinal centers from outer space. I mean, they're ginormous. But what's this and this? It's like I know, I know. Yes, when you see a lymph node, <clears throat> that's partially covered by squamous mucosa, right? It looks like epidermis, except it's got kind of some pale glycogenated cells and no stratum corneum and no stratum gran uh, granulosum, right? So that's squamous mucosa. Squamous mucosa on top of something that looks like a lymph node means you're where? And I know this is not fair because it's not skin, but do any of you know? It's a tonsil. Very good. To me, that's the way I learned it as a resident. A tonsil is like a lymph node, but covered with or, or having some invaginated. These are actually crypts. See, this is not the outer surface here. These are invaginated cystic spaces lined by squamous mucosa. So those are the crypts, the kind of infolding of the tonsils. And here in one of these crypts, we see some large structures. And what are these? They're kind of they're kind of in like you know organized in rings almost, right? So they've got kind of a center and then a ring of purple around the outside. Yeah. So um, these are the um, have you seen the chemomycetomas, like yeah. the little lumpy um, grains um, that we see in that. Exactly. The, the splendor hopefully phenomenon. Everything in the periphery, and then you can see the the bacteria as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to see on here, but there are little thin filaments here, much smaller. There are what other things can make structures kind of like this? You're right. This is this is basically what the sulfur granule is in a draining sinus from actinomycotic mycetoma. In these case, this is actually kind of a basically a variant of normal. This is actinomyces growing in the tonsillar crypts. Some people call these tonsil stones, I think is a term that gets used for them. But basically, I, this is a relatively common finding in tonsil. And in my way of thinking of it, it's not really representative of like a, a serious disease-like process. Whereas if you see this elsewhere in the body, like in the skin or the subcutis or something, then that indicates like an actual active infection. But this is kind of like a almost commensal type uh, situation I think of. I don't know, maybe someone else will disagree with me. But in the tonsil, we see this a lot. But <clears throat> so what other things can make um, uh, the sulfur granule type structure? Um, well, I know you can have like a U mycetoma where it's like actual um, actual bacteria, uh, excuse me, actual um, fungus, fungi right, that, yeah. That cause a similar sort of phenomenon. Very good. That's, what you're That's exactly what I'm getting at. The the kind of three main things I think of that make these globular structures that often have splendor hoply around the outside is actinomycotic mycetoma, which is not actually, you know, if you think of mycetoma as being fungal, uh, like a fungal nodule, actinomyces isn't really fungus, right? I think it's more thought of as a filamentous bacteria now. Actinomyces can do this. I've heard that nocardia can do it, but I've the rare times I've seen nocardia, it did not make nodules like this, so I don't know. Um, uh, but this is another example. This was actually uh, an infection in the mucosal lip. And you can really see that bright pink splendor hoply phenomenon, which is basically antigen antibody complexes depositing all around the edge of this nodule. And in this one, you can kind of see right here the thin bluish thread like filamentous structures, way too small to be fungus. And you can use, you know, GMS and gram stain to help you sort out um, whether you're dealing with bacteria or fungus, but usually the fungus is going to be, they're bigger. These are th so thin that you can barely make out, I don't know, on your end if you can even see, because sometimes the resolution through teams is not as good, but they're very, very thin threads. I love this case because the Splendor Hopley, just wow, so dramatic and amazing. And there, look, there's the draining sinus tract where it's draining out to the surface of the, the mucosa in this case, or the skin. Okay, so this was an actinomycotic mycetoma. Eumycotic, you means like true, basically. True mycotic mycetoma is actual fungus making a ball-like structure like this. And the one other thing that you can have, we'll talk about later because we have a case of it here to look at today. So this was actinomyces in a tonsil in this case.